By the time you were approached by EMI, had you already, by that time, started to form Bebop Deluxe? Had Just, they, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, literally, I think I'd put the band together two weeks before they got in touch. And they got in touch about re-recording Northern Dream, and I said, well, you know, um, I've cut my hair and shaved my beard off <laughs> and got a band, and it's completely different. And they said, OK, have you got anything we can listen to? So we went into Holy Ground and we demoed a couple of tracks, the first couple of things I'd written for the band, um, and sent that down to them. And they said, well, we think it's early days yet, and maybe we need to give you a few months to get things together a bit more, and then we'll come up and see you play live. Um, so that happened. They came up to see us play. Uh, and by this time we started to build a good following. But they felt that the band as a whole wasn't right and that I should work with different musicians. They were happy to do a deal with me but not with the whole band. Uh, and I was very altruistic and sort of you know, idealistic and said, oh, it's the band or nothing. So they said, okay, well, we'll give you some more time and see how the band comes along. We'll come up and see you again. And this went on for quite a while, I think over a year that occasionally every few months they'd pop up to see how we were doing and, and gradually the bands following locally got very, very uh, positive. You know, we, we, we packed all the places out we played locally. And I remember one of the higher A&R men saying, well, it's just a local phenomenon, it would never happen in London, this. <laughs> so it looked like nothing was going to come of it. And then we played, we, we landed a gig at the Marquee Club um, supporting a band called String Driven Thing. And the EMI chaps came along to see how we would fare with the London audience. And, and it was an amazing night. We just, you know, really burned the place down. Mm -hmm. And so they came backstage afterwards into this tiny dressing room at the marquee and said, right, come in the office tomorrow, we'll do a deal. Um, so that was, that's, that's how we got our record deal with EMI.